हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन आय अश्विनी जमदाड़े लेक्चर एट संजीवनी कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च कोपरगाव इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑइंटमेंट्स व्हाट आर ऑइंटमेंट्स एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन वी हैव स्टडीड ऑलरेडी फ्रॉम दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी what are ointment bases and their types now let us discuss first what is ointment base ointment base is the substance or a part of ointment which serves as carrier or vehicle for the medicaments what are ideal properties of ointment base it should be inert odorless and smooth it should be physically and chemically stable it should be compatible with skin and with the incorporated medicaments it should be of such consistency that it spreads and softens when applied to the skin with stress it should retard the healing it should not retard the healing of wounds and it should not produce irritation or sensitization of the skin means in short ointment base should be skin friendly it should not cause irritation or chemical reaction most of the times we take the skin sensitivity test for topical preparations this is because whether the allergic reaction or sensitization occurs or not is tested now let, let, let's see the next part that is classification of ointment bases the ointment bases are generally classified in four class first oleaginous bases then absorption bases emulsion bases and water soluble bases these are the four types of ointment base we are going to study each of them one by one now let us see what are oleaginous bases they consist of water insoluble hydrocarbons vegetable oils animal fats and waxes constituents of hydrocarbon bases are soft paraffin and liquid paraffin the example of oleaginous bases are petrolatum that is called as soft paraffin also then hard paraffin and liquid paraffin these are the three main uh, fats we can say or waxes which are the example of oleaginous bases let us discuss each of these one by one now petrolatum or soft paraffin it is purified mixture of semi solid hydrocarbons obtained from petrol petroleum there are two varieties of soft paraffin one is yellow soft paraffin and other is white soft paraffin now difference is that the yellow soft paraffin is treated with bleach bleaching powder or it is bleached to get the white soft paraffin the melting point of both paraffin are 38 degree celsius to 56 degree celsius white paraffin is used for white or colorless medicaments but it is not generally used for ophthalmic ointment because the trace of bleaching agent may be remain in the paraffin which may cause the irritation to the eyes then next is hard paraffin it is purified mixture of solid hydrocarbons obtained from petrolatum it is colorless or white translucent odorless tasteless wax like substance it is used to harden or soften the ointment base then next is liquid paraffin it consists of mixture of liquid hydrocarbons and obtained from petroleum by distillation it is also known as white mineral oil or liquid petroleum it is colorless odorless and tasteless and transparent oily liquid it is 
used along with hard paraffin and soft paraffin to get a desired consistency of ointment this these are all the oleaginous bases now let us discuss what are disadvantages of oleaginous bases they are greasy they are sticky and are difficult to remove from both skin and clothes then they retain the body heat which may produce a uncomfortable feeling of warmth they do not help in absorption of medicaments they prevent drainage on oozing areas and also prevent evaporation of cutaneous secretions along with perspiration when when the sweat is sweat sec, sweat is secreted from the skin the drainage is prevented or retarded by use of oleaginous bases then let us discuss next absorption bases what are absorption bases these bases are generally anhydrous substances which have the property of absorbing that is emulsifying considerable quantity of water but still retain their ointment like consistency they are of two types first non emulsified bases and second water in oil emulsions now non emulsified bases absorbs water and aqueous solution producing w by o emulsion examples are wool fat wool alcohol beeswax and cholesterol the water in oil emulsion are capable of absorbing more more water and have properties of non emulsified bases for example hydrous wool fat that is also called as lanolin now examples are wool fat hydrous wool fat wool alcohol and beeswax let us discuss this one by one wool fat it is purified fat like substance obtained from wool of sheep called as anhydrous lanolin then next is hydrous wool fat it is the purified fat like substance obtained from wool of sheep it is also known as lanolin used as emollient emollient already you know what are emollient which shows the softening and soothing effect on the skin then next is wool alcohol it is obtained from wool fat by treating it with alkali and separating the fraction containing cholesterol and other alcohols it contains 30% of cholesterol it is used as purif uh, emulsifying agent for preparation of w by o emulsion w by o emulsion means water in oil emulsion then next beeswax it is purified wax obtained from honey cob of bees it is available in yellow beeswax and white bees wax these are all the absorption bases which are used in the ointment or in ointment bases then what are the advantages of ointment bases we are going to discuss first the bases are compatible with large number of medicament means different medicament can be incorporated in such bases then next these bases can absorb a large quantity of water or aqueous substances because it has the better absorption these bases are relatively heat stable means heat do not affect the property of these bases these bases may be used in their anhydrous form or in emulsified form they are greasy but easily removable from the skin compared to oleaginous bases this is the advantages of 
absorption basis over oleaginous basis now let us discuss the next type of bases that are emulsion bases these bases are semi solid or have a cream like consistency they are available in both o by w or w by o emulsions then emulsifying ointment is prepared from emulsifying waxes white soft paraffin and liquid paraffin these are emulsion bases which are used as an emulsif emul uh, which are used in emulsion type of ointment then next are water soluble bases the meaning itself or the word itself reveals the meaning that is they are water soluble commonly they are known as graceless ointment bases means they are non greasy water soluble bases consist of water soluble ingredients such as polyethylene glycol polymers which popularly are known as carbo waxes then the carbo waxes are water soluble non volatile and inert substances the molecular weight varies from 200 to 8000 by mixing different carbo waxes ointments of varying consistency can be obtained the examples of this type of bases are so sodium alginate tragacanth gelatin pectin different cellulose derivatives bentonite magnesium and aluminium silicate etc these are some of the examples of water soluble bases this is all from this session in next session we are going to discuss the different dermatological vehicles or selection of dermatological vehicles in incorporation of ointment till then stay home stay safe keep learning thank you